Thermostat Ping Pong. The game nobody ever really wins. There's usually someone who's looking for a sweater at 80 degrees, and then there's me, who's sweating at 65 degrees. Issuing blankets might let you get away with turning the entire building into a refrigerator. But a better way, a more eco-friendly way, might be to see if we can come up with something that would allow us to cool the hot guy down. The Cool You Pocket. This is a powerful portable air conditioning unit that is capable of delivering more than 20,000 calories of cooling energy to right where you need it. And yet it's small enough to fit inside your suit coat pocket. Or the pocket of your blazer. Or your shirt pocket. Or your pants pocket. And with the removable belt clip, you can even attach it to your belt. The Cool You Pocket is a well-engineered, finely crafted, sophisticated cooling machine which uses only the finest of parts, like these precision ball bearings which allow the fan to operate continuously for more than 30,000 hours. Let's take a quick look at how this works. Warm air enters the unit, which is then exposed to both sides of our specially designed cooling unit before it exits through the exhaust diffusers. You can adjust this exhaust air to go wherever you would like, set the temperature to a comfortable level, and the fan speed can be adjusted from a whisper quiet mode all the way to max airflow. Cool U can drop the air temperature by up to 15 degrees, but that's not the only way it can cool you. Once you turn the device on, in addition to circulating that nice cold air everywhere, the unit itself begins to cool, providing an incredibly refreshing direct contact cooling. And all of this is made possible with our specially designed cooling unit. Just get it wet, put it in the freezer. Once it's frozen, just slide it in the unit for anywhere from two to six hours of Arctic bliss anywhere you want to take it. So for those hot people in your life, no, not that kind of hot, there we go. You see, you're just not you when you're hot. So get cool with Cool You, then you can be you. And that's hot. emotion was what I was looking for to reproduce when I bought my first hi-fi set. But the live playing naturality never really came through. I bought new sets, invested more money, but all I ever learned was the importance of great loudspeakers. When I decided to set up my own line, I knew there was one man I had to talk to. And that was Giuseppe Nizzola of Ars Aures Audio. Now this genius listened to me, had great patience, and we worked very hard together, combining balance and tonal naturalness. And this resulted in this great loudspeaker called Ellie, because great music deserves a great loudspeaker.
Pella is a smart, simple to use device that your pet can use to let you know it wants to go outside. It uses positive reinforcement learning to let go of the bad habits it has when it wants to go outside. So it's things like barking, scratching furniture, and peeing everywhere. There's two types of pellet. The pellet in and the pellet out. The pellet in goes inside your house. It can be secured to almost any flat surface. Your dog pushes the pellet in to let you know when it wants to go outside. The other type is the pellet out. The pellet out goes outside. It's slightly different than the pellet in. It's weatherproof, waterproof. It can be secured to the ground outside to stop thefts and people just kicking it over weather blowing it over. And your pet pushes that to let you know when it wants in. If you wanted to make a realistic picture in the days before photography was invented, you had to draw it. And for centuries, artists used optical technologies to help them make those realistic drawings. Tools like the 19th century camera lucida leverage cutting edge technology to help artists draw accurately from real life. In the camera lucida, you look down into a special prism, you see your subject and your hand superimposed so you can trace directly from real life. In 2013, I teamed up with fellow art professor Golan Levin and made the Neo Lucida, an inexpensive but authentic replica of the vintage camera lucida. We just figured, well, this will be for art history nerds like us. But to our surprise, over 11,000 backers supported us. People really wanted to draw with this obsolete tool. And since then, we've sold over 25,000 Neo Lucidas and shipped them to over 90 countries. But one thing we heard over and over again, people would say, this is hard. And we would say, we know. The prism is really small, and so the viewing area is really small. Using camera lucidas and other optical drawing tools took skill and a lot of practice. It certainly wasn't a magical path to making masterpieces. But we were inspired. Thousands of people got excited about drawing from our first Kickstarter. So could we make a new Neo Lucida? One that had a larger viewing area and was easier to use, and not just for enthusiasts and art history nerds, but for young artists and beginners of all ages. So after two years of testing and prototypes, here it is, the Neo Lucida XL. Totally redesigned with a larger viewing area to make drawing just a little bit easier. How does it work? Clamp your Neo Lucida XL to your drawing table. Then adjust the flexible arm to place the viewer over your paper. When you look down into the Neo Lucida XL, you see through the glass to your page. But the glass also reflects an image off of the mirror, making a ghost image of your subject. And because the image reflects twice, the image isn't backwards or upside down. So you can just trace what you see. When you're done, fold up the Neo Lucida XL, put it in the custom pouch provided. It's lightweight, compact, and doesn't even require any batteries. Drawing from life is hard. The world is three-dimensional, but your page is flat. Drawing tools like the Neo Lucida flatten a real-world image onto your page for tracing. It may not be a shortcut to great masterpieces, but it just may make drawing a little bit less frustrating. And sometimes that's all it takes to motivate you. So support the Neo Lucida, and let's get drawing.